shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! having breakfast. His name was Mr Munchmold. Anything else, Mr Munchmold? More cheese, please. And he loved cheese. More cheese? Oh, you can't have enough cheese. I was playing the Captain Dumbletwit game with Grandpa. Oh, no, a space spider's web. Miss a turn. <laughs> he wants more cheese. More cheese? It looked like a cheese at this rate, or smelled like one. <laughs> Who is this Mr Munchmold, anyway? I mean, what's he doing in Sunny Sands? He sounds peculiar. He is peculiar, Grandpa. He said he's here on business. Cheesy business. Cheesy business? Dear. I like the sound of that. Yes, this was the day of Mr Munchmold's cheesy business. Later that day, in Mr Whoops' shop, my cousin Jason was buying sweets. Right you are, lemon bonbons. <laughs> Just then, Miss Smiley arrived with Mr Whoops' lunch. My lovely jubbly hubby. Oh, wonder wife of mine. <laughs> That's what they call each other. Now they're married. Oh, lemon bonbons. Grandpa's favourite. <laughs> he says they help him think. <laughs> I'll just put your lunch in the back, Mr Whoops. Suddenly, the door flew open and in marched Mr Munchmold. Mr Munchmold! Mr Whoops! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, Mr Whoops! How could I be so clumsy? It's clear to me, Mr Whoops, that you're not really capable of running this shop. Oh! He is. He just has little accidents, that's all. And someone who has little accidents should not be in charge of a shop. But it's a brilliant toy shop. Everyone loves it. Listen here, young man. I own this building, you see. This is all mine! <laughs> Mr Whoops was upset. But, M Mr Munchmold, I always pay my rent. The fact is this, Mr Whoops. I am now going to take over this shop and it will no longer be a toy shop. It will be a cheese shop. A cheese shop? But Sunny Sands needs toys. We don't need cheese. Everywhere needs cheese. You can't have enough cheese. You mustn't change it. We all love Mr Whoops' shop. My shop, young man. My shop. But it's the best toy shop in the world. And it will now be the best cheese shop in the world. When I'm back, I shall have a piece of paper for you to sign, Mr. Whoops, saying that you will leave at once. It's going to make me leave my lovely toy shop. We won't let it happen, Mr. Whoops. Grandpa will know what to do. So, Jason, Miss Smiley and Mr. Whoops Got into Mr. Whoops's car, drove out of Sunny Sands and down the country lanes, and very soon they arrived here at the Mill on the Marsh. Oh, a cheese shop? You can't turn the best toy shop in the world into a cheese shop. What can we do, Grandpa? Whatever can we do? Grandpa sucked on his lemon bonbon. Then he said, Here's what you do. You all dash over to your shop, Mr. Whoops. And so that you're there when he comes over with that paper for you to sign. And then you explain to him that it's a terrible idea. Terrible. I'm sure we can do that. I should be back at my cafe. Why don't I help out with the cafe, Miss Smiley? Then you can stay with Mr Whoops. Good idea, Jason. These bonbons are beginning to work. Oh, Elsie, Mr Munchmold wants to turn Mr Whoops' shop into a cheese shop. <laughs> That's awful. So we're going to try and stop him. Come along, everyone. I'll drop you off at the cafe, Jason. Of 
course I'm coming. But the only thing that will stop Mr. Munchmole's plan is a bit of magic. Not the shaking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know, when Grandpa shrinks, he can run so fast you can't catch him. He can hide in teeny tiny places. And he can get anywhere he wants to. Like this. Today, I thought he was coming in my backpack with me. Come on then, Grandpa. No, I'll come in the plane. A bit later, Elsa. And he jumped down onto the floor. Your job will be to get everyone out of the shop except Mr. Munchmode, OK? OK. Then ring me. Right. Let it ring three times. I'll know it's you, and that will be my sign to set off. Right? Right. Off you go. But Mr. Munchmold was not going to change his mind. It will be magnificent. Cheese from the floor to the ceiling. <laughs> but, Mr Munchmold, everybody in Sunny Sands loves Mr Whoops and his shop. And what's going to happen to Mr Whoops? I'm sure he can come and help you in the cafe, Miss Smiley. Whoops! <laughs> if he can stop having little accidents. Right, Mr Whoops. Sign here. I decided it was time to call Grandpa. Then I'd have to find a way to get everyone out of the shop. Apart from Mr Munchmold. Aha! I let it ring three times. Off we go. I'm on my way, Elsie. And Grandpa took off and flew out of the window towards Sunny Sands and Mr Whoops' shop, where Mr Munchmold said... I see none of you has anything to say. Now was my chance. Actually, I do. I have something. The thing is... Oh, what is the thing, little girl? Mr Munchmold bent down to talk, and his breath smelt like old socks. The thing is, Mr Whoops' toy shop is magic. Magic, eh? Well, well. If things are magic, little girl, then magical things happen. They do, if you let them. Why don't we go to Miss Smiley's cafe for ice cream? Then Mr Munchmog can see the magic for himself. Good idea, Elsie. Excellent. Off you go. I can't wait for all the magic to start. Bye-bye. Goodbye, shop. As Mr Munchmold unpacked his cheese, Grandpa flew in. What the earth? He jumped out of the plane and ran, and Mr Munchmold picked the plane up. Very odd. Doesn't look radio controlled. Grandpa had got on the table, and he started the train going. What is it? Then Grandpa went up to an alligator toy and set it working. Mr Munchmold couldn't think what was going on. But there's nobody here. But there was somebody here. And he just wound some frogs up. I don't believe up. it. This is extraordinary. What bit was that? Bit, the toy shop started to come to life. Thanks to Grandpa. And when he saw a little puppet mouse, he crawled inside and went... Eek, Mr Munchmold heard the mouse. I heard a mouse. Mr Munchmold didn't like mice. I don't like mice. Then I wouldn't have a cheese shop if I were you. Because mice love cheese. And I'll invite all my friends here. Yum, yum, yum. Good grief. This is extraordinary. It's, uh, it's magic. Toys that work by themselves. Talking mice. Eek, geek. That little girl was right. This has got to be the best toy shop in the world. Eeky. And Mr Munchmold ran to the telephone and dialed the number of Miss Smiley's cafe and Grandpa got out of the mouse and hid. Hello, Miss Smiley's cafe. Oh, is it, hello, Mr Munchmold. Yes. Yes, he is. Come back! You must come back quickly! Your toy shop is magic! He says it's magic. 
My toy shop is magic! I knew it would be! So did I. We dropped Mr Whoops and Miss Smiley back at the toy shop. No more cheese. I promise you, no more cheese, Mr Whoops. Just toys. Magical toys. Grandpa was quite pleased with himself. Then, Mr Mudgemold tore up the paper he'd made Mr Whoops sign. Shook Mr Whoops by the hand. Good luck, Mr Whoops. Picked up his case full of cheese and made for the door. Goodbye, shop. Oh, Mr Whoops. Miss Smiley was hugging Mr Whoops so tightly that they didn't see Grandpa fly out of the door. And very soon, he was back at the mill on the march. When we got home, we ran upstairs to check that Grandpa had got back safely. Help off Grandpa, quick! Well, you should be proud of Elsie, Jason. She worked wonders. Well, both of you together worked wonders, Grandpa. All three of us did. It was teamwork. Teamwork! <laughs> Grandpa, there you are. I don't know what Elsie did, but she absolutely convinced Mr Munchmold that Mr Whoops's shop was magic. Clever girl. <laughs> What's your supper, Mum? Cheese. <laughs> <laughs>